tell you, I feel like I have a new best friend. I was on Cricut.com uh, searching around some of the uh, digital um, cartridges because I enjoy doing those with my Cricut craft room. And I found the um, Teddy Bear Parade. It is so cute. I just can't wait to do a bunch of these and uh, I'll probably be doing some large ones uh, and dressing them up to uh, put in the uh, grandchildren to pass out to grandchildren so they can decorate. I might even do them on vinyl and they can put them in their room but it's called Teddy Bear Dress Up and it's a Cricut cartridge that you can get uh, if you use Cricut Crash craft room you can download it uh, direct from, <clears throat> from Cricut.com uh, or you can buy the physical car cartridge from Cricut.com. So I want to show you a cute little card I did today and I want to teach you a little technique that I use um, uh, to make uh, my own uh, action wobble. I call them wibble wobbles because that action wobbles a trade I'm sure. Anyway <clears throat> I got in my stash and I found this uh, dark, uh, purpley, blackish uh, cardstock, and I'm going to use this as the uh, first layer. And then I found some um, Halloween uh, glittery, uh, swirly paper you know, on the back of this was some candy corn, whatever's, and some of my black and orange ribbon which I've already put around this, and that will go on here. And let me show you my teddy bear. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I did it um, in the dark brown, light brown, and lighter brown, orange, green, and then the little um, pumpkin holder, candy holder, is out of the same paper as uh, the, the second layer on the card. I did a little sponging around, little um, squiggly eyes, and uh, there you are. Little pumpkin uh, critter, that, uh, teddy bear, that's going out to trick or treat. And we're going to put that on an action wobble. So, let me get this going. Oh, God. ATG gun. Hang on a minute, everybody. Um, it's, this is a regular A2 card base, which is five and a, uh, well, the first layer is five and a fourth by four. Next layer down is five by three and three fourths. Um, I'm going to put these together. Okay, that's ready. Now I want to show you how I make my action wobbles. Uh, I really love using these things. I bought this uh, spool of yarn. It is 360 f uh, feet of yarn for $2.77. I got it at Hobby Lobby. So I usually cut off about um, 5 inches and it even has a self cutter on here which is wonderful. Then I have two one-inch circles. Um, what I do is use the end of some kind of a pencil or a, in this case my uh, scooper duper from Cricut and I wrap the wire around the end of my object here. And it really doesn't matter how many uh, spring action turns you have. Sometimes I make them smaller, sometimes I make them uh, <clears throat> tighter together. But then I pull that off and I do um, <clears throat> some scotch tape. <clears throat> Sorry. And this is a little bit of a tricky part. You take your tape. This is the sticky side. I'm left-handed, y'all, so please don't let that kill your enthusiasm. You stick it in between one of the ends and then put your circle on there. And it's okay if some tape is left over, you can cut it off or you can um, bend it back. 
Then you do another piece of scotch tape, turn it over to the sticky side, and you run that through the other another the other end of the spring. Put your circle on there. Okay? And now you have an action wobble that's homemade. Probably cost about a penny. <laughs> no, maybe a little bit more than that. Then um, use your glue and adhere it to the back of whatever object you're doing. Oh, I just dropped it, just dropped it, sorry. Okay, squish that down. Wipe that glue on my pants, which I do a lot. <laughs> I, I like this Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I think it's a really good product and I, I've used that quite a bit. Then <coughs> you turn it over, put the glue on the other side, and then you're ready to smash it onto the card. Then you have your action wibble wobble. I call it a wibble wobble because it's not an action wobble, but it's a wibble wobble. Okay, uh, this uh, scotch uh, really dries quickly. And then I used um, a sentiment from Mary uh, Cards TV. <coughs> It says trick or treat and I use some of my handy dandy roll of giant uh, double sided tape that I got it is going to last me a while because you can just cut that to any size you want and get the backs off of this and put that right about here okay and then I will take my um, card base, fold it over, and use my ATG, go down the sides, And I know you're surprised that Miss Judy does not have any close to my heart products on here. But I fooled you. I inked with cocoa uh, ink from close to my heart uh, around the teddy bear and around the uh, <coughs> sentiment uh, piece. And so I did use close to my heart, just not as my... Um, uh, main stamping or main cutting for this project. But isn't that cute? Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. I remember saying that when I was little. But this is Teddy Bear Parade. Um, and I hope you enjoy. And I um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I love talking to you and I love talking to myself. So have a great day, everybody. See you soon. Ta-ta!